Hey everyone, this is Shardae Simone. Thank you for watching my video. In this video, I'm doing a monochrome gray look. I'm starting off with a clean face and using Hard Candy Primer. This is a stick version of the primer. I really like it because it's good and easy to be able to throw in your bags. And I'm rubbing it in all over my face. Man. To conceal, I'm using Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in Dark Cocoa. And I'm putting it all over where I have dark spots on my face. This is also a place where some people may want to color correct. And I'm using a blender that I uh, got from EcoTools to blend it out. For my brows, I'm using NYX Precision Brow Pencil in Espresso. First thing I do is I take the spoolie and I um, just clean them up by brushing them up. And then I go through and I fill in all the um, spots that I have and just making them more defined and just going above as well as below and just making my brows more defined than what I already have because it just looks more precise and sharp. To further clean up my brows, I'm using concealer below my brow to clean it up and make it look even more precise. And I'm using Ulta Deep Warm Full Coverage Concealer and I just use a real um, small Real Techniques tool brush to clean it up and go up under the brows and then I'm going to blend it out using a blender. After blending, I'm putting on um, eyeshadow primer, which is from Ulta, and I'm going to put it all the way up to where I blended out my concealer. I'm setting my eyeshadow with any type of translucent powder that you have around the house, and this helps with um, making sure that your eyeshadow application goes on as well as possible. The palette that I use is from JCAT Hollywood. I started off with a light gray color and I'm blending that at above my crease and I'm blending it using a big fluffy Morphe brush and now I'm going in with a darker gray color to now give it a little bit more depth and this is a little bit more precise brush, a precise elf brush that I have and after that I'm going in with the shiny um, silvery color for the top of my lids. I use a smudger brush to be able to put the shiny color on my lids and pack on the color as much as possible. After that, I'm going to go back in with the darker gray color to blend it out and blend the shiny um, silvery color with the darker color that is on my lids. To line my eyes, I'm using a Wet n Wild Felt Tip Liner in Black. And with this liner, I was using it, I was thinking about doing a wing, but me and the wing end up having a fight and I end up having issues with that. So I decided not to, and I decided to just clean it up afterwards. So um, that's the process of me cleaning it up because I didn't like the way that it ended up coming out. For my mascara, I use Maybelline Colossal Lash and Big Shot in black. And I just um, put mascara on the top lashes. I do the bottom lashes after I put on the rest of my face. For foundation, I'm using Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 356 Warm Coconut. And out of the bottle, it comes out pretty good and it matches my skin pretty well after it oxidizes and whatnot and I put powder on. For this video, I was using an elf, a small blending elf brush. It is not one of my favorites, so you won't see me use that brush very often for other videos. I like the very fluffy, dense, um, blending brush that Elf has. This is a little too small for my face. I was kind of struggling trying to blend that in on my face. Now I come back with the same EcoTools sponge that I was using earlier to get all the excess product that I have on my face and just to blend that through. To highlight, I'm using Ulta Full Coverage Concealer in Deep Warm up under my eyes and I also did a little bit of my, of my forehead and the bridge of my nose. This one um, is really, really thick as well as it is super, super creamy and it's very, very, very full coverage so please proceed with caution. But I really, really do love it. I'm now blending my face out with using a Sephora sponge and I'm blending my nose first and then I do under my eyes because I want it to set a little bit so it can have as full coverage as possible. To set my concealer under my eyes, I'm using Makeup Revolution um, Baking Powder and Banana and I set under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, everywhere that I put concealer in and this just brightens up the face. To 
set the rest of my face, I'm using Black Opal Deluxe Finishing Powder in dark. And I'm setting everywhere that I did not put the Makeup Revolution powder in. So on my nose, around my mouth. And this helps with um, laugh lines as well as just setting the rest of that foundation that you put on your face. To contour, I'm using a powder contour from Black Radiance in dark. And I'm doing the hollows of my cheeks as well as my forehead. And I'm doing a little bit of under my uh, chin as well because it just gives more dimension to your face going around. Now I'm dusting off any excess powder that I have under my eyes with a very clean brush. For my blush, I'm using the F5 palette in that pink color and I'm dusting it onto my cheeks. Not very heavy, just very light because this is a monochromatic look and I'm just dusting it on very lightly. To highlight, I'm using LA Girl 90 watts and as you can see, I made a makeshift fan brush which by using two um, bobby pins and I put it on a fluffy um, blush brush that I had and it actually works pretty well. To line my eyes, I'm using NYX New York Collection Eye Pencil under my eyes as well as I'm coming through with mascara to finish up my look. I'm using NK Lip Liner in dark brown to line my lips before I come through with NYX Liquid Suede that's in Stone Fox. This is really, really neat bluish gray color that I like a lot. I was very surprised that I would like it as much as I did, so I went off the deep end trying something new. To finish up my whole look, I'm using Ulta Setting Spray in matte, which is my go-to. Thank you so much for watching my video. I appreciate um, you going through the whole video. Please do not forget to like, share, as well as comment under the video. And don't forget to, if you subscribe, make sure to hit the alert button so whenever I drop a new video, you'll be able to see it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and do not forget that there is always a little time for beauty. Bye. Love you.